Hello and welcome. Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. Today I will be creating a slimline card to share with you. This card has the look of a sunset and it's created mostly from die cuts. I'll be stamping with a stamp set called A Sentiment for Almost Anything and then the using the slimline The Great Outdoors die set. Here I have already made all of the die cuts that I'll be using. I'm using a 110 pound white heavyweight cardstock. I will also be using inks from Ink on 3. These are the Atelier inks and I think I just about used every color in this project. All of the colors and all of the other products that I have used are listed down in the video description along with clickable links. I'm going to use some yellows and green color to add to the tree. Now the tree top has two different pieces. There is also a third piece to it, but I really wasn't sure how I was gonna use the third piece. So I'm sticking with the tree, the tree trunk, and then the little, the little companion piece. I'm going to first add a light coat of yellow and then really saturate the green color into the cardstock. Then I went back over just so that the yellow would help this layer stand out away from the back part of the tree. There's a little notch on each side to be able to help know where to line it up for proper placing. Now I am using a piece of the grass die that I have die cut from this die set. And something I would like to point out about the Great Outdoors die set is that there is a complete array of items to use for scene building. I can pull out this one die set and I can use it for either a typical A2 sized card or for a slimline card. And there's this is supposed to be a hill die, but when I pulled the die cut out, it looked kind of like a sun. I can also picture this being a moon. So I decided that I wanted to use it as a sun and make it be a sunset. I'm not sure if you get the vibrant colors of the sunset where you live, but where I live in the Midwest United States, we get some very spectacular sunsets. There are lots of reds, pinks, oranges, and purples. And I wanted this card to really shine and be very bold and bright. I'm adding a very heavy coat of the yellow ink onto the piece of die cut first, then going over that from the bottom with the orange color. That way my sun will be yellow at the top and then it kind of fades down into the orange color. Now I want to add some color directly to my slimline card base. A slimline card for me measures three and a half inches wide after it is folded in half. So that means seven inches cut on one side by eight and a half inches on the other cut. And then I will score it at three and a half and fold it in half. I've placed a piece of post-it tape along that folded score line. And then I've placed another piece of post-it tape down at the bottom. The very bottom of the card front or the card base is going to not show because that grass die will be there. So that way I can feel free to secure this without missing anything in my ink blending. I'm using purples and reds and then added a little bit of orange as well, just to get that hot sizzle look that sometimes we can see in a sunset. And I'm trying to blend the colors as easily as possible. Now, when evening comes along, I know we get a little bit of a different color in the sky. So I grab the blue because I'm using just about every color here and added some blue ink just around the very top corners. 
and then that just kind of blends out the look. I added some water droplets and they actually picked up much more ink than what I was comfortable with. So I took that um, Blending Buddy brush and just went back over it once it was dried and that filled the color back in a little bit and made me feel a little more comfortable. I wish that I hadn't added as much water drops as I did, but that's okay. It, it all works out in the end. I'm going to use my heat tool just to make sure that I've got all that heavy, really heavy ink blending dry. And then I am stuck with trying to figure out how tall or how low or how high the sun's going to go. I decided to have more of the sun show than what I intentionally was. And that meant that not as much of that ink blended sky background was going to show. But that's okay. I really like the fact that the sun shows. Now I'm going to put the pieces of the tree together. So I lined up the little notches on the left and the right. And if you work with this die set, you'll see that there is very easily, once you turn it, that there's a, a place where the left and the right will line up on both of the die cuts. Now I'm going to use lots of little birds. There's three different bird designs in the die set. And I'm so thankful there are birds in this. If you guys know me and follow me, then you know I'm crazy about a bird stamp and bird dies. And so I was really excited to see this. Now these are going to appear like way in the background. And so how do you color the birds other than just leave them black and make them be a silhouette? So I decided to take some um, gray colored from a Copic marker and just put it on the wings that would be opposite and then use my zero blender just to kind of fade it out. And then to give them some sparkle and set them apart from the sky, liquid pixie dust. And who doesn't love liquid pixie dust? I mean, it is so sparkly. So now we have some pretty birds and then we've got that very subtle change of color on the birds themselves. There was a little extra of that pixie dust on my work surface, so I decided to splatter some because you can't waste pixie dust. It's just like precious. <laughs> now I'm going to build my sentiment and I'm going to stamp it onto some black cardstock. And I chose to use the sentiment for sympathy. I wanted to make a sympathy card to send to a family member who recently lost their pet and I thought this would be fitting. I don't have anything right now that says sorry for the loss of your pet, but I thought this would be appropriate being, it, you know, it says so sorry for your loss. Now I knew I had a die, a banner die somewhere. So I went digging and the four bar die set from Trinity Stamps has this little banner die that fits perfectly for all those sentiments that are in that sentiment die set, which is super handy to have around. So I decided to adhere it directly to the sun and then I'm going to kind of scooch it down into uh, being straight and then add some crystal clear rhinestones with my jewel picker. I love that I can empty out that little box into my tidy tray that is from Trinity and then I can pick out all the jewels that I like and then funnel them back in. It is just too easy. I hope that you have enjoyed this card and it brings you some inspiration to use your products in a new way. Thanks so much for joining us on the Trinity channel and be sure to pop over to Facebook where we have a special group of conversation and inspiration and you can share your projects. We'd love to see what you create.